Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, recently I did a pepper update for the grow series and showed the compost bin that I have in these uh, containers and a few people were interested in how it works and how I create it and if uh, it works well for the pepper plants. And the answer is, it. yes, it does work really well. It's very easy to make. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So first, what you're going to need is a container. This is actually a container from a dollar store. Uh, something with a lid because what it does is it helps keep uh, like uh, the bugs out and stuff like that. So um, uh, it is a, a good way to uh, prevent those from flying around and all that stuff. But also it helps, uh, you know, keep uh, the inside area dark so that the worms can go through and eat it and break it down and all that stuff. So I uh, highly recommend having this. Uh, also it prevents um, maybe pests, animals that, that may be uh, going into there and digging it up and all that stuff. So uh, it's a good thing to have a lid. So again, this is a dollar store container. And then here I have another one, exactly the same. And here's the lid. So I just uh, add some stuff in there. So basically all we do is uh, go around the garden and grab all the scraps that I'm not using like lettuce plants that are old or comfrey plants that I'm growing to feed the worms and stuff like that. So I shredded it down. Actually you don't even have to shred it, just squeeze it in there, put a little bit of soil on top and a week or so later it'll break down like you saw earlier and it will turn into really dark nice compost for the raised bed. So that's uh, what I'm doing here. So today we're going to create one. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, yeah, you're going to need a container with a lid. Anything that has a screw on and screw off works the best, uh, in my opinion, because it allows you to secure it. Uh, or anything that you can uh, take on and take off easily, but also cover it back uh, easily. That way it doesn't uh, take too much effort. So uh, what we're going to do first, I'm using this jelly container here that I got um, from the Asian supermarket. It contains all these jelly candies and all that stuff, so we use it up. So we're going to use this container for that. So uh, first we're going to drill holes everywhere. Uh, there's no uh, uh, you know, exact art to this, just drill, drill hole everywhere. Uh, just large enough uh, that uh, the worms can go through in and out. Okay, so uh, that should be enough. So now, uh, usually I'll cut out the bottom of this container here. But since the plastic is pretty tough, I'm just going to drill a big hole down there. Okay, so uh, a large hole saw. This is a three an uh, inch hole saw of 76 millimeters, sorry, number three. So I'm just gonna drill oh, it right here. And we are all set, just clean up uh, the little bits here. And then we'll go ahead and bury it in the raised bed. Okay, I actually found my uh, tough scissor and uh, it, it actually would allow me to cut the bottom piece out. So go ahead and do this, just cut it out. There you go. But the whole saw will work too. So uh, either way, I just want a big opening at the bottom like that. Okay, so here is a raised bed. And I left that big middle center there because I wanted to do something like that. So I'll put um, a compost bin in the middle. So we need to dig a hole and then bury it to around right here. So mostly the whole thing. And you can see I already had compost there, so we're going to put those compost back into the bin. And if you look closely, I'm not sure the camera catches it, but uh, because the compost is just sitting in the raised bed, under just a thin layer of soil, you can see there's fruit flies all over the place. And that is why the lid is an excellent idea. It would prevent these fruit flies from getting all over the place. Uh, 
<laughs> okay so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like and then we'll close the lid okay so here it is that's uh, the bin it's very easy just bury it like that and each time the the compost break down you just go find uh, more in the garden just uh, put it in on like that uh, fill it all the way to the top and uh, all you have to do is after you fill up what you need with leaves or lettuce or scraps and stuff like that all you have to do is put a layer of thin soil on top like that and then close the lid you don't have to close real tight so uh, there it is and we'll come back and check on it okay it has been exactly one month now and let's check on our compost so if you open this up you see that it has broken down and fallen further to the bottom so this is a good sign because that means that the uh, the stuff that we had in there have been broken down and now it's going to be uh, available for the plants to use and uh, once they are broken down the soil sink a little bit so you can add more stuff so today we are going to add more stuff this is the watermelon stuff that I cut and so you just add it like that it's a really neat system to kind of like manage your compost and not allow the animal to dig it up and uh, kind of clean in a way you see put a little bit of soil on top like that you see how full that is and in a, a few weeks it's gonna break down and then it's gonna drop and then you're gonna keep doing that and keep doing that and uh, it's uh, it's a really nice system and same as here so let's check on this one you see it's, the stuff has been broken down now it's nice and dark see some of the, the other stuff are still uh, kind of like in there so it's, it's gonna continue to break down and look at that it looks really nice so now your plants can can use the nice compost that it makes on its own you just need to add stuff so there you have it uh, try it out and uh, see if it works for you thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe